Hi, and welcome to Fly TV. My name is Stefan Jensen. And I'm Alan Pedersen. And today, we're doing this. We're waiting on a kind of a reef or a plateau. There's so much food for them in here. Gobies, dinglebacks, cameras, and bugs. Yeah! Oh, 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 what right. fatty! Mate! It looked like somebody dropped a cow in the water. <laughs> oh, yeah, it, it, is, is. it is. It's a big it's, fish. It's 60 plus. Okay, so we are back in Denmark. It's the, it's the middle of August. And Alan, please tell me and the rest of the world who you are and what we are here to do. My name is Alan Pedersen. I'm 38 years old and uh, I work in a hunting and fishing shop in uh, MB Jagt Fiskeri Fritid Hobro. We are in Maja Fjord. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do then? Hopefully we'll get some sea trout on, on the dry fly. Dry fly is nothing I've done very much. I've, yeah, as you know, I'm fishing a lot for sea trouts on the coastline of both Denmark and Sweden, but dry fly is very, very new to me. Mm -hmm. So what is there to expect? Well, hopefully we'll, we'll see some fish feeding on the surface. Uh, we, we hope to see daddy long legs, beetles blowing out on the water, and mm -hmm. hopefully the fish will feed on them so we can entice them to take our flies. We will also be blind fishing, as, as we say. We will just search for the fish, big foam flies on the surface, and uh, hopefully get into some action. We will see the takes and the fish come We up. will absolutely see the takes. Um, we will, but... How about the conditions? Well, these days the conditions aren't perfect. It's, uh, the weather is changing a lot, uh, different wind directions, the, the water's a bit cold. What you're saying is that it would have been better fishing probably if we would have had a stable... Yeah, stable temperatures and wind. Uh, I say the, the water could be two or three degrees warmer. We'd have better conditions. And also the insect life is not as abundant. So this fjord, my yeah. fjord, mm -hmm. please tell me a little bit more about the uh, yeah, the, the fjord and the, the biology about around the fish. Sure. The, the fjord is around 35 kilometers long and have lots of small streams. Therefore, we have a special breed of sea trout. Mm -hmm. not, not silver like you're used to seeing on the open coast. Uh, a lot of them actually look mostly like brown trout or slightly colored fish. Often really, really fat in, in the summertime. So, so if, if a normal guy would catch that one on, on the open coast, he would say, oh, that's... That's a coloured fish. Yeah. He would probably think that, yeah. So, yeah. But do, they, do they, those fish that live here, or do they go out to the open sea? Uh, actually, a few go to the open sea, but, okay. but mostly they live all their life in, in the fjord and the streams. So we, we get, well, they're not huge, but... but Five kilo fish is it's a huge fish. It, it's, it's a big, it's fish. A go, it's a big yeah. fish. So if you were to tell a guy like me who, who's actually doing quite a lot of sea trout fishing but haven't done a lot of this, how to start and point me in the right direction on how to uh, decide which location I should go. Is there some tips? Absolutely. Um, what we mostly look for is offshore winds blowing insects out on the water. Mm -hmm. and um, conditions behind us like reeds, trees, bushes is, is a big advantage because that means more bugs. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what we're looking for. But you can still fish to, to rising fish you see anywhere, not only here in, in the fjord but op open coast or your favorite saltwater spot. And it doesn't have to be bugs, uh, you see bugs. but, but Generally, if you see fish and you have a hard time catching them, you can use foam flies, dry flies. Your experience about time of year, uh, is it only summer fishing? Or? 
No, the, the, I would say the period we do it the most is maybe from the middle of May to September, October. But generally you can do it all year. Okay. We actually have winter time. Sometimes it's, it's good. We're here. We're here. So um, let's give it a go. Sure. The spot we're fishing here is we're waiting on a kind of a reef or a plateau uh, where the water is dropping just outside. It's dropping down to to almost four meters. So we are walking in here in quite shallow water and fishing over an edge. Hopefully the fish will follow this edge and uh, come up towards our flies. So we're covering quite deep water out there and, and lower water in here. There's a bit of current running, but, but not too much. It, there's no wind either, so we would like that wind to come in a bit more. So it's so flat water so the fish can see everything. Uh, we would like a bit more disturbance on the surface to to cover our leaders and, and flies. And normally they'll be a lot easier to catch. So let's see. So there's a few different ways we fish these foam flies. One is what they call in Sweden roly poly, just slowly, slowly moving it. A few takes a bit fast and then maybe a pause. Slow again. Just so you see the fly make a small wake. And sometimes it's just Roly poly, but faster. Big wake, no splash, but big wake. Uh, if we're lucky, some days we fish on flat water and the, the surface is uh, rippling just out in front of us. We can just place the fly and let it sit for maybe 30 to 60 seconds, and they will come and take it. If you cast to rising fish, uh, just leave it out there, maybe a minute, move it a little bit. And uh, if they're really neglecting the fly, you can move a bit faster. So. I was just roly poly, slow, 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 and then a wave came up behind it and I stopped the fly and <laughs> smash. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Good job, man. I don't think it's a big fish, but... Oh, that's a good size fish. Oh, look at that. Oh, lightly hooked, I think. Around 50. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> baby. <laughs> <laughs> Well done. Cool. Thanks. Beautiful fish. It was. It was. You see how fat it was? Yeah. Uh, that's how they look, mostly, in the field. Mm. Really fat and nice spots and uh, hard fighting. Mm. Mm. Cool. Cool. Now we have get get one for you. We know they're here now. Now we just have to fish on them. So, yeah. cool. And that dry fly. After, after one, one fish. <laughs> oh, well done. Thank you. Let's get another one. Yep. Cool.
That just first it came once. Yeah. And I said, eh, why can't you just take my fly? And it did. No, I set full speed on the fly. Oh. And cool. I just saw this big wave come up behind the fly and woohoo! Boom. <laughs> it's a nice fish. It's a good sized fish. But I got a long lead. I'll just back up a bit and I'll pull it towards you. Yeah. Oh. There's a lot of rocks here, so it's not, yeah. it's not too easy. Oh, oh, nice fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we want. I haven't got control of it. No, yet. no. <laughs> oh, not ready yet. No, 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 no. Big spots on yeah. this one as well. Push it a bit here. Yeah! Oh, right. fatty. Mate. Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at that. Nice fish. Does it feel good? <laughs> this is, well, I don't know if, if it is the coolest sea trout fishing. Definitely in, it's in up there. top three. <laughs> I mean, everything is just so extreme. You see all of it, you get excited and you get the tapes and you get. And you can do it in sunlight and. Yeah. Nice. Oh, let me. Yeah. This is just so fat. Amazing. <laughs> oh, let's put it back. Look at the back of it. Really cool. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Congratulations, buddy. Wow. I can't describe this feeling. I mean, I, you, you don't ever get tired of it and no. you can't describe it. It's just 100% happiness and you feel like empty, but still happy. Just it's so cool. Maybe one more. Maybe one more. Hmm? Let's try. See if they will play along. Yeah, I hope so. Mm -hmm. Tight lines. Because the fjord is so big, uh, 35 kilometers, we have so many different spots to try. So fish for maybe an hour and, and then we'll try another spot. So that's what we'll do. So I thought that we should tell the guys a little about the equipment we're using. I'm running a seven weight. You are? I'm on a six weight. Uh, and the action of the rods, which you're normally using? Medium fast to fast. Fast because of big wind resistant flies and sometimes a lot of wind. Mm -hmm. And for the hook setup? For hook setup yeah. on a long distance. So, yeah. Yeah. so you don't want all of these very soft? No, not, not too soft rods, no. Yeah. Well, that's a, what I use for, for regular sea trout fishing. Mm -hmm. Lines? Uh, shooting heads or weight forward lines. If you, if you choose a, a weight forward line, a medium head length, around 10 meters is perfect because you get great presentation mm -hmm. and long distance. Mm -hmm. uh, I use a lot of shooting heads, yeah. so also about 10 meters. And of course, all of them are floating. All of them are floating <laughs> for this fishing, yes, yeah. of course. And uh, leaders? Nylon leaders and nylon tipped. Yeah. Length is that? Well, depending on the wind and the, the flies, but nine or 12 foot leader mm -hmm. and some about a meter of tippet. And that's like three eggs, two eggs, one eggs? Three, uh, two eggs normally, mm -hmm. because of you have to turn over the flies. Right. When I'm fishing at home, I'm always using fluorocarbon leaders, yeah. um, or at least the tippet. Why are we not using that? Even though, uh, the foam flies are big and they float well, the, the floor carbon will sink them. So nylon all the way. But you, you're using floor carbon when you're fishing the shrimp flies? So. Yes, okay. absolutely. So it's only? E everything else I use floor carbon, so. Okay. But, but for this fishing, 
nylon. Mm. Real wise, how much? Just just a decent brake and a salt water resistant brake system, so that doesn't have to be anything fancy. Okay. No. So it's it's actually quite easy to get started. It is. You you probably have something you can use, or if you if you don't, you just a normal salt water setup, fast action rod. So to sum it all up, like a nine foot six seven weight something yep. is a shooting head or weight forward uh, floating line, mm -hmm. fully uh, nylon leader and, and tippet, mm -hmm. and uh, some foam flies. Yeah. Last thing I want, like I would like you to 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 show us is the flies, of course. Yes. Um, different sizes or just one size or different sizes um, for for different conditions. Let's say if you're fishing during the day, a lot of wind. I normally start with big flies. Uh, later on the evening, if the wind goes down, you have to downsize, or during the day, even if the fish are picky. So, but how do you choose your first fly? Uh, big, visible. Okay. So normally something with maybe orange legs and a, a medium size, so like a six or a four. Okay. So. Um, so I can see it and the fish can see it. And we have to find the fish, search some water. Yeah. As we always do when it's sea trout fishing, you have to work for them. It's actually the same tactic. It just is. Just on the, on the top. Just on the, on the top, yeah. But I mean, hey, sea trout fishing is fun. Mm -hmm. But this with surface activity, floating lines, floating flies, mm -hmm. It doesn't get much better, does it? No, it's super, super fun. Uh, to see them smash the fly on the surface is, is awesome. Uh, so if you, if you, well, you have to try it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I mean, I've, I'm, I'm stoked. I'm, I'm, I'm just finding it so exciting, so fantastic. Mm -hmm. And as you said, quite easy to get started. It is, quite um, simple. Last thing I didn't ask you, when, for me, it's very, very important that, that the fly is always tied in a loop knot. Yeah. Is that the same with them? We all, I also do it with these, the yes. Yeah. So the only knot you actually need to know is the loop knot for sea trout fishing. It is, it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, well, I'm learning a lot. It's good. Well, um, what do you think? It's time to try and see if we can find, find, find some, a fish. Find some fish, yeah. yeah. We'll give it a go? I think so. Okay. Look how fat these trout are. There's so much food for them in here. Gobies, sticklebacks, cameras and bugs. Yes. What a take! Oh. It looked like somebody dropped a cow in the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one might be a very good fish, Alan. Wow. Oh, huge fish! 
Oh, yeah, yes, it is. It is. It's a it's, big fish. It's 60 plus. Nice. I need to back in a bit. That might be a good idea. Yeah. Uh, whoa, whoa. I don't want it around this rock. No. I think we should go a bit yeah. further. It doesn't look like I'm putting a lot of pressure on it, but I actually am. <laughs> it's a... That is a nice... Whoa! Yes! <laughs> All right, dude. Oh. <laughs> Another good one. It's a huge fish. It is. So cool. Oh. Those teeth. Yeah. Beautiful. Right, but <laughs> Let's put him back. <laughs> you wanted to go. Yeah. <laughs> ah. oh. Good mm. job. Uh, thank you, Emma. Thank you for helping me. <sighs> oh. So, do you like it? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> cool.